Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and, because uh, it looks like uh, Plasma Plasma was unmuting, so I just want to pass it over. Yeah, I think it's the first time you've ever been on my channel, Plasma. I know we've spoken on a few different channels before, and you even made some cuts about your, like, beliefs in ghosts, and I, I told you that it could just be compression software or light reflection, but I also do believe in spirits, so I, I appreciate some of your work. I know you have a pretty... Uh, harsh take on Judaism, but, uh, and I don't know if either you or I can you hear have, me? Yeah, I hear can you. you hear I, I don't okay, know, great. You know if either right. one of you have an interpretation of what the original language of all of humankind was, or if you did take like a narrative of the Tower of Babel, that if the question even interests you, what was the language that humanity spoke before the Tower of Babel? Well, I can't go there because I'm not into books like that. Um, I'm not into history whether it's it's very difficult for me to to rely on history when i even think 9 11 that what we've been told is fake on that so that's like 20 years ago so i'm not i wouldn't be the guy to talk on that uh okay go ahead well just to mention plasma i, I spoke to kevin barrett who uh is like the 9 11 truther and that conversation it's on his patreon but youtube didn't let us upload it and uh, he tried to convince me, like the 9/11, uh, I don't call it conspiracies, and, and but he's he lost his job. He was a you know a professor who was preaching uh, different theories of 9/11, and he lost his job for that. And then uh, he saw me on Adam Green and invited me, which he calls white jihad. He's a convert to Islam, uh, but YouTube didn't even let him upload that video. Well, I mean that's that's kind of pretty telling why they won't allow a different voice to come out. I mean, why, why would you not allow a different voice to, to appear? I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's pretty damning of, of the people that are censoring, obviously, in, in my view, but you may have a different take on it. Yeah. I, mean, I think even David is likely to face censorship. You know, like if I'm an anti-Zionist Jew or I'm willing to platform people who have questions that, that they generally don't want platform, um, you know, it's possible. I haven't had been censorshiped on my on my channel, although a lot of my discussions on other channels have been censored. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So why why would the USA care about Duvid's stand on Zionism? That's the anyway, whatever. But you didn't. You I, I don't know if you wanted to switch to to a different topic, but if you wanted me to go through my questions I had earlier, but as far as like the beginning of origins of language. Hey, it could be. I don't know. Hebrew could be, or or Phoenician, or whatever it actually is. Uh, well, I haven't really asked you about anything. I mean, if if you if you're just kind of airing grievances against the Jewish people no. in general, no, or no, you no, have no, actual no, no, no. questions for me. Yeah, yeah. You 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 put on the stream. Ask anything. Uh, so I was going to ask anything, and you know, part and parcel of questions sometimes have an intent behind the question, or the question normally wouldn't be asked. But uh, um. Yeah, just try if to keep you it within uh, YouTube guidelines because I'm, tr I'm trying Absolutely. to I'm trying to uh, um, you know play within their rules so that I'll Absolutely. be able to. Uh... I'm... Okay, go I ahead. I believe I've always been respectful to you. Okay, um, so so the basic thing is in Judaism, um, it's not the same type of morality as the Western world. Uh, I don't. You can stop me anytime you disagree with what, what I'm saying because that might be helpful. But um, yeah, I don't think there's one yeah. one unique uh, morality of the Western world. Obviously, there's uh, a lot of different uh, morality systems of the West. But uh, but yeah, I mean, Judy, the Judaic, Hebrew, Middle Eastern morality system, like I would agree, it's different than the majority of uh, Western morality systems. You, you know, like as Luke Ford mentions, it's more of a dual dualistic morality system where there's a way of treating members of the same group versus out members, and the majority of Western systems are universal, although that's not universal among uh, uh but yeah, I'm saying Luke Ford has covered that at length, and I, I generally agree with his research. Right, right. And so the the way a, a white person translate that is is that Jews can lie. And it's okay with to others. Uh, you know, there's a different morality, but the whites generally, and, and again, it's, these are all just generalities. I wouldn't Western, put it black and white like that. You're saying like having a dual morality system where you have rules for how you deal with your in-group versus the out-group doesn't, right. doesn't 
doesn't mean like anything goes with the out group. Certainly, no, uh, I didn't say anything. I'm just I said that. Well, you said the, lie. The, I mean that, that like no. I mean that Judaism clearly. It's a not, lie. Yeah, it, it it can be a lie. There's circumstances where you are allowed to lie, but you're not just. That's lying. what I just said. That's what I just said. That's you can lie. So if you're that's implying that you could just lie to the people of the out group, that's not accurate. There's only circumstances. Well, you just said there's circumstances you can. So you disagree that that you can. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying in the Western tradition, it's not acceptable to be a liar. In the in the Jewish tradition. It is, and and the, and the reason that I'm, I'm, I'll just try to make it clear, uh, you know, I, I really do have a hard time with Pilpo and Bilbo or whatever. But it, it, as much as we can keep it like in a Western type of uh, uh, logos or whatever, an appeal to logic instead of going to Pilpo and Bilbo, I, I would appreciate it. Like yes and no's are really good for me. Uh, well, it's part of the differentiation so because you know the Pilpo method is going to be degrees. It's not. It's not. Uh, you know, truth or lying. There's varying degrees, so if it makes it no, hard to communicate, no. The bilbo is more the lying. The bilbo is more the lying. Uh, what, what I what I what I was just trying to get to, maybe, and that, also uh, just for historical accuracy, maybe Eke has expertise on this. Um, I mean, you basically you're repeating Kant and Nietzsche's uh, critique. You're not saying something new. Emmanuel Kant had already given this uh, you know point that you're making as a critique of the Jewish people and Nietzsche and other. Uh, Germanic uh, philosophers uh, hundreds of years ago had pointed out what you were saying and even possibly earlier in Roman and Greek authors, authors that critique the Jewish people had made the same critique that you're making. Yeah, no, I know. I, it's been known a long time. It's just been suppressed uh, lately in the West. But, but what I'm saying is it, it, it kind of comes down to a simple question. If Jews consider lying okay and you know, part of their tradition is the celebration of the lie, the deception, like Esther, uh, being able to infiltrate and then to deceive and and uh, you know, for the good of the Jew, the the lying and the deception was done, and it's the, the that act was considered like something really good or kol nidre, whatever. Um, so, if this is the case between <clears throat> the Jewish mentality versus the western i'm just using broad terms i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get as smart and fancy as you talking Nietzsche, whatever but um if this is if this happens to be true then how can a white person trust a jew i mean what 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 would be the reason that if you know somebody is a liar that you would trust a liar that's that's the basic question why should anyone that knows somebody else is a liar trust a liar now I, I believe you did kind of answer it. You said, well, you know, go by the facts, go by the whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the, the, the simple point is when you, you can't trust somebody, um, and at this point we're at even facts are being manipulated, uh, and that's why I said about the history, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it just... I, I, if, 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 you, if your race, let's say your race, we reversed it. You were the white and I was a Jew. And everything I said to you, you couldn't trust. I mean, how would you, how would you deal with it? Yeah, let's just say it like that. How would you deal with it? If you, if you were the race that was honest and tried to be truthful, and obviously no, all whites are not that. I'm just saying the general, the general uh, part of the, of the, of the ethos or, or whatever the the important morality of that of your race was to be completely honest transparent to go out of your way to be clear to even you know if, if something is not 100 percent uh understood you go out of your way to explain all the intricacies of a thing whatever but the other race that you're dealing with would go out of its way to be deceptive to gain advantage how would you as a race deal with that deceptive race i'm i'm very curious on that were you asking multiple prong questions? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just that last question. Just that last question. If you, if the roles were reversed, how would you deal with a deceptive race? And you were the honest race. That's the simple question right there. How would you deal with it? How would you want your race to deal with it? Well, I think knowledge is power. So you know, it could be just the knowledge of uh, um, ethnic differences and how different uh, ethnic okay, but what, groups go about but what it. If that race, could, what could, if that race could be, uh, enough it, that you would be able to successfully deal with the group knowing that they have true. a different outlook towards a uh, language or truth 
or or your know, group benefit um, you right. know, without going to the framing conception to defend the Jewish people and saying the sense that no, I mean Jews don't um, Jews will also uphold the value of truth and honesty. We just have a conflicting uh, possibly understanding where there's other values that could trump the truth. So in terms of possibly group ethnic uh, benefit, uh, that the truth could be bent. Uh, but certainly the, that uh, you know Judaism, the scripture, the Jewish people in general promote honesty. They promote honesty to Gentiles also. It's just that there's other conflicting values, like you mentioned Esther, where it could be a uh, group benefit would be more valuable than the truth, but it doesn't mean that uh, you know. God forbid, everything is a lie because truth is certainly a valuable okay. concept among Jews. Also, are you rejecting? You're saying that that Jews just promote dishonesty, or you're saying that uh, we don't view truth as an absolute value? And if it comes to ethnic nepotism or something like that, it's possible that we would be in a situation where we would uh, um, look at this value of uh, in-group preference and benefit that would make it okay to not be truthful as opposed to your conception of the West where truth is an absolute value and you can't uh, go against the truth to, to bend that kind. Or, and then if you're putting that in a framing to say like or you're claiming that Jews are just uh, perpetually dishonest about anything versus uh, you know, a more nuanced understanding that uh, Jews are generally pretty honest, uh, but if it comes to their own ethnic uh, nep nepotist nepotistic benefit uh, that they may be less dishonest in, in the sense from a negotiation or dealing with different people, just understanding that different groups have different uh, philosophical systems that you would be able to uh, successfully deal with Jews, just knowing that they have a different uh, uh, worldview and a different outlook. Okay. And, and so if an Aryan or, or a Westerner says something, you could take it as the word value, as where you know, possibly if a different ethnic group, possibly including Jews says something, you have to see that uh, you know it's likely Jewish, that the Jew is telling Jewish, the truth. But at the same time, if there's a conflicting value with their group benefit, maybe they aren't telling the truth. Okay, I apologize. I, I'm going to do this a different way, if, if that's okay with you. I don't know. I don't know how much time you want to allot for me or whatever. But there's race A and there's race B. Okay, race A is honest. Race B is dishonest. You are race. A, you're the honest race. How do you deal with, with race B? If race B is in control of information, is in control and has the power economically, they own the, the, the money supply, they own the, they're in the government, they're, they're affecting the media, they're, um, they will lie to you. You try to ask them a direct question and they will lie to you. This is just race A, race B. It doesn't, Let's, let's forget all these other things. It doesn't matter. This is on a different planet. How I mean, you are you race, let, let, me, let me finish, let me finish, brother. Let me finish, brother. If you are race A, <clears throat> this is on a different planet. It's not even us, so don't worry about it. If, if, if you're race A and, and race B is in control of the media, the, the money, they lie to you, uh, they deceive you, and they're actually trying to harm you, how how what would be your way to deal with race B? This is a different planet. Don't worry. This is Minecraft. Different planet. How how would you as race A deal with those that are trying to harm you and will lie and are in control? How how would you deal with that as a race? Simple with the that. current measure of uh, of, of uh, rating systems of transparency and of law and no order. no there is no transparency because race b controls the information they they deceive you they control the information they lie you cannot get clear information because you're being deceived so how how do you deal with that as race a carefully to the best exactly. of your ability but, but, okay Say again, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. I mean, carefully well, to the best of your ability, you know, I'm saying that or if you're going to look, is it, you know, if it's such a situation where you have to rebel or you just have to accept a dying a martyr or, or whatever the, you know, the exact uh, other extenuating circumstances that if you put it, you can't have transparency, you can't have law and order because the cheating group is in power and there's no way to usurp the power.